Hi, this is John Barclay, and today I wanted to introduce you to the wonderful new piece of software from Alien Skin called Exposure 5. I've been a fan of all of the other iterations of Exposure because it's been the best uh, film rendering program on the market hands down and I've used it on occasion when I want to create that film look or replicate that film look. However, with Exposure 5, they've taken it to a whole new level with the ability to be very creative and go beyond just a one-click look. So let's, rather than talk, let's start to, to show you what we have here. So in this podcast, it's really going to be a quick overview. It's not going to cover everything. There's just way too much to talk about. So up in the top left, I can reset so that I can see just my image. I'm going to close these down to make it nice and clean and walk you through a little bit of the interface first. So now we have the ability to see different subsets or groups of color and black and white. We can create favorites. We can have our own user defined uh, and create our own looks and save them as a look and so forth. Over on the right side, we have the ability to adjust that particular film type with all of these controls here that we've chosen, or create the one that we want. We have a tone curve, and I'll spend some time introducing you to how this might be uh, of uh, benefit to you. Uh, split toning here, uh, focus, which is like a faux lens baby look, which is pretty powerful, and I'll introduce you to that. We can have uh, grain added to the image if we'd like, or some of these presets have the grain, and then you can fine-tune that with lots of control there, actually. Infrared, we can uh, uh, pick that from the left side as a look and then go on and adjust that or fine-tune it as well. We can add vignettes, borders, um, light effects, dust and scratches, and so Let's jump in and introduce you uh, to that. So I'm going to go over here to color, and I'm going to specifically pick lo-fi, and I'm going to go over and, and select this Kodak 200 gold. How cool is that? So right away it gives you this kind of a faded gold look with this light look coming in from the left side. But let's explore the light look just a little bit here. So here it is on the right side. I can flip it back and forth. I can flip it up and down. And if I click on the light effects image here, I can see that I have corner tight effects, side effects, corner effects, I'm sorry, sun flare type effects, and surround type effects. I like the sun flare on this one. I like what they had for the corner as well. Or uh, if I wanted, I could have it coming from the top down. But let's go back to the, the corner one. And notice here I have a little bit more control. I can zoom that effect in or out and I can change the opacity of that effect. So pretty powerful look generator but even more powerful on the right side to fine-tune that look to something you might like. Let's uh, reset this once again and now I'm going to go to the black and whites. I'm going to go to infrared and I don't know about you but most programs that try to imitate black and white infrared don't do a very good job. But once again, Alien Skin does a great job trying to render things without getting them in camera. I mean, normally the best way to do infrared is to get a, a camera converted and do it that way. So this isn't too bad, but let's see once again what type of control we have to fine tune that. We have a drop down list of all these choices that we can add to that look. We're going to uh, leave it off right now. Whoops, what did I do? Let's go back over here and select this. It's a custom one, I'm sorry, that I, I ruined <laughs> by hitting off. Uh, but we can change the contrast of that look, right, and, and bring rein it in if we need to a little bit. Uh, we can change the halation and the spread of that. So we have a lot of control over that that look to take it from where the preset is, and then if it's a little bit heavy-handed, like it was in this case, we can rein that in just a little bit. Okay, enough with that particular image. Let's cancel out of that, and let's move on to the next one. Again, like I said, I just want to introduce you to a, a few concepts here. So let's go back up to Filter, and open up Exposure 5. We'll hit 
reset close these down so that we're not so overwhelmed with all the looks and just by way of introducing you to how quickly and easily uh, alien skin creates these film look it, it's pretty great it really is just one click and we're getting you know that grainy look and these are kind of in order so they go from low um, ISO up to the higher ones so you a nice clean black and white look but it, to me that's pretty tremendous with one click but I wanted to go beyond that a little bit and introduce some of the other capabilities so let's go into color and let's go into maybe like a slide film here and then maybe something like you know the Agfa 100 which is kind of nice pretty colorful though if you want even more colorful go to the old Fuji uh, Astia maybe is a little you know less in your face and then over here I want to introduce you to the idea of using a vignette so we can come down here and once again we have a drop down list with all these looks and in this case let's go to a subtle black notice here I can adjust where I want the location of that vignette by hitting this plus sign and that's pretty cool I'm gonna go pretty slowly here you can see the vignette moving across as I move where that target is you can actually see where it's going and then I click and I put it where I want to in this case I think in the middle makes the most sense and then you have all this control over the amount the size the roundness the softness the distortion and lump by the way the distortion and lump size have to do with a more uh, handcrafted look uh, and it's not so um, computer generated looking so pretty powerful vignette capability uh, in my mind I mean probably one of the best the fact that you can see where you're placing it really makes a lot of sense to me and just by way of playing a little bit here let's go to the vintage films and when I think about going to Cuba this makes a lot more sense to me these vintage type looks look a lot like what I would expect to find uh, in 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 Cuba because it's it's that old place that you feel like you're stuck on the 50s so let's just choose this one if we don't want that border and texture but we love the colors which I do in this one I'm not a big fan of the border easy come to the right side and get rid of it if we want to add a vignette uh, to this same thing we can scroll over these and find something that we like um, I tend to go to the subtle black and we can make it maybe a little stronger if we want to or weaker again I can change where that's going to go and maybe slide it over here to the left just a little bit and I think you get the idea um, getting one tip uh, a one click uh, choices but then the ability to fine-tune that and uh, be a little creative should you want to so I'm gonna hit the apply button this time just to show you that what like all of the other pieces of software that alien skin makes you're adding a layer here so you can turn that on and off or you can and I tend to do this a lot blend that with the background to fine-tune even more let's go one more image and uh, finish with that for today as I said this is more of an introductory uh, podcast as to some of the capabilities it's it's pretty robust in all that it does once again we'll hit reset in this scroll these up just so we're not overwhelmed with all these looks and in this one I'm gonna go to color I'm gonna come down to lo-fi I'm gonna come down to this NPS uh, 160 expired film look with a creamy yellow and I think that's tremendous I really do now I wanted to come back and just cover this tone curve real quickly look how powerful this is look at the background here behind this woman if I want to change those shadows and darken that up I can come here and darken that up and then she pops a little bit or I can brighten those shadows up a little bit I can affect the contrast and really really great smooth sliders here uh, to once again I hate to be repetitive here fine-tune the look to how you want it to be and one last thing I want to introduce you to is this focus as I told you before once again lots of presets for different looks uh, right out of the can and let's do one that's pretty in your face a strong glamour look 
normally we wouldn't do that with this type of image that might be on a glamour type photo but what I wanted to do is, is make sure that you could see what's happening here this lens wrap adjustment on the focus what it does is it it separates where that focus is in the middle of your image from the softness on the sides of the image or the outer extremities of the image so that's a, a, a you have the ability to make the woman become sharp and clear again while leaving some of that um, softness on the outside and if you don't like those dust and scratches no problem come down here and get rid of the dust and dust and scratches there and continue to fine tune it so there's a quick overview of the new exposure 5 I'm extremely excited about this I see it being a big part of my workflow especially for images like the Cuba images you know maybe not for some of the nature type things but for me for the people images for Cuba images for period places I think it's tremendous there is a 10% discount in my discounts page or on the discounts page just click on that on the blog and use the code there it's good for a couple of weeks. I'll have to renew it. So uh, if if you click on it, if it doesn't work, send me a quick email, and I'll make sure to renew it and update it. Um, it's a wonderful piece of software, the best at doing what it does without any doubt about it. I hope you've enjoyed this, and come back soon.